Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is a follow-up video to the other one I did about um, installing my Phase 2 Quick Change Tool Post on my Logan 11-inch lathe. Um, I've used this thing, I've had it since the beginning of January now, and I've used it for, you know, about four months, and I've been quite pleased with it. Uh, of course, it is not an Alorus or, an Ad or a Dorian, and the price reflects that. They cost about you know, depending on if you get them on sale or not, anywhere from uh, 150 up to 200 for the AXA style, the, which is you know the 9 to 12 inch, I believe. Uh, if you go up to the BXA, that's I believe that's a 12 to 15, and then the CXA um, that's for big lays. Uh, most guys that have lays that big are probably I'm not going to say probably, but. Um, if they're professional machinists, they're going to be using um, some nice stuff. But this is a pretty good little guy for the money. I paid, I think, 180 for it because I failed to realize that I could have waited another month and gotten it on sale for about 150 <clears throat> from Enco online. But anyways. Uh, if you watched my other video, which I can put a link up for it, I went over a few things. And one of the things I went over, it got kind of lengthy, a little lengthier than I wanted it to. But I showed how I milled my little plate here. As you can see, it's a T-nut. But when you get it, it's just a flat plate that's threaded into this. So what you got to do is you got to go through and you have to either pay somebody to machine it or you got to machine it yourself. <clears throat> Uh, if you can get it machined, it's not too terribly expensive to have somebody else machine it, uh, depending on who you have, do it anywhere from, you know, 25, 30 bucks all the way up to 50, 60 bucks to do that little nut, but um, if it's a full-blown machine shop, they should be able to whip that guy out for you if you got their measurements in no time and, you know, 30, 40 bucks shouldn't be unreasonable. <clears throat> and... Um, I spent, I had a, had a little mini mill and I spent probably two or three hours getting it right to where I wanted it because <clears throat> I had to take such small cuts. So let's take a look at this. Let me tighten her down here again. A few first impressions of this guy. A little bit of wobble in the, in the handle and I don't know if the more expensive ones have that or not but you know it's not a big deal. It locks down real well and you know, when I've <clears throat> I've had a little bit of chatter on this thing, but it's because of my machine, and my machine is older, and I I've kind of worked some of those kinks out. And I, that's the nice thing about this is when I had my t lantern tool post, I was thinking, God damn, that lantern tool post is just you know it's so chattery and it's not solid. And and here I found out once I got this thing that it was actually um, I have some bedware and some of these screws. Uh, and my gibs and stuff loosened up more than they should have been and I ended up <clears throat> tightening all that stuff up and now it's really solid and it works really great. So that was a, a good thing that I found out with this guy. But <clears throat> uh, The lock up on here is pretty good. Once, you know, the I tightened all these down. There's a, um, I forget what size it is, I can tell you here quick. I believe it's a 4 millimeter or maybe a 5 millimeter on this top main screw and I tightened all those down good when I got it and then you can you know hand tighten these or loosen them whatever you want and then if you get them if you have one bit in there all the time you can tighten them and lock them and leave them <clears throat> one thing I did notice I heard another guy say that uh, once upon a time these set screws in these bit holders were kind of junk and I first got it and I kind of thought, well, they don't look that bad. And I used it a little bit and I thought, well, they don't work that bad either. But <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it, but after using them for a while, you kind of get the impression that, yeah, they're kind of cheap. And one of these days, I think I'm going to replace them out for some good uh, ones that are hopefully USA, US, US made. But, I mean, they work. They do the job. Um... This is the wedge style tool post, if, if you didn't see it. Uh, they make the piston style. I wanted a wedge one because everything I read, you guys like the wedge ones more than the piston style ones. 
And when you put this on there, it's actually not much movement in there. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't really move much. And then, let's see. So not even a quarter turn and it'll tighten down. The only thing I have noticed from using this thing a little bit, let me grab my other uh, bit holder here. <clears throat> like say we want to use a boring bar, and I flop this guy over to the side, sometimes that lever gets, you fling it over a little too far and then you got to push it back and then it tight, you know, tightens it down a little and you got yeah, it gets kind of, I don't know if the, the more expensive ones are like that, but I've noticed that it gets in the way a little bit. Um, so you gotta kind of, you know, work around it, but it works. Once you get it in there, it's just a little, you know, if you don't ever use boring bars, it's not a big deal, but for me, I'm gonna use them quite a bit, so. But the side one is really nice. <clears throat> it seems to work better. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I mean, there's not much to these things. One thing I should mention, is that I did have to buy, they come with um, one of these, a standard bit holder, and then the one that's in here is a standard one with a groove in it so you can put a boring bar in it. The boring bar holder, which I just showed you a second ago, and then this knurler and an extra bit holder for this guy. And then the last one they send you is a universal parting tool. And if you notice, this doesn't say phase two on it or anything. See those guys? They say phase two. Hmm, what's up with that? Here's what happened. I got this set and I tried putting my cutting tool in here and every time I tightened it down, it would flop my blade over to the side. And no matter which blade, because I have several cutoff uh, blades. I tried them all and what ended up happening is this piece that they, this nut that they provide is so sloppy, it's so horrible of machining that when it tightens down it slides over and it pushes the top of the blade out. So what I did is I called phase two and I said, hey, my parting tool holder that you guys sent me keeps pushing my bit out and I don't like that and I don't want to have to fix it. But what he told me before I said I don't want to fix it is, oh, you can check out, uh, you know, I'm sure there's something on Google or something you can go look and, and you know, people modify them and make them work. And, and I told the guy, I said, ah, you know what, I really don't want to do that. And I already bought one. This is a Shars, and I'm pretty happy with this one. I already bought a Shards one off of eBay, and it cost me, I think this one was 18, 15 or 18 bucks shipped. It wasn't more than 20. But <clears throat> this Shars one is way better over the Phase 2 because this nut is machined a lot better and it fits a lot tighter. Um, whatever they did to make this one work, this one works way better. That Phase 2 parting tool holder that they send you is garbage. Um, I don't know. And the guy that I talked to was really nice, and he said send it back. So I sent it back, and I'm I'm waiting for it to waiting to hear back from him. But um, you know, you think they'd fix that, but you know, for 200 bucks, I guess you're not you're not getting a whole hell of a lot. That's kind of the only down downfall to this set was this holder. So like I said, I bought a new one, and we'll see what happens when they send me back the other one. Hopefully, they'll send me a nice one that works. So then I'll have two of them is nice but <clears throat> so that's about it I mean for the money hands down ten times better than a to lantern tool post uh, this is money well spent I really enjoy it I think this is awesome I'm happy I have it uh, I've been hemming and hawing about it for uh, you know a year or so and I finally said what the hell let's go ahead and buy it so I did it and I'm happy I would never go back to a lantern tool post after I have this guy. Uh, someday when I can maybe afford a Dorian or an Alaris, yeah, I'll get one of those. But till then, you know, for 200 or 150 to 200 bucks, this is money well spent in my opinion. And uh, you know, just the ease of 
the ease of having all these holders and being able to plop them in there and switch from one to the other is so much nicer. The one thing that I would like to do, um, my only other complaint other than that tool bit holder is uh, I would recommend getting some more of these 250 101s, just the standard tool bit holders. And you can go on eBay and buy Shars ones. I, I don't know, they're, I think Shars sells them for 13 bucks plus like six bucks shipping, so 18 bucks. But if you buy a few of them, you get a little discount on shipping. But if I had three or four more of these standard ones, that would be great because uh, it's always nice to have several of these and then you can plop them in and out and uh, you know you don't need to be actually unscrewing them and, and fixing them so anyways that's my little phase two review phase two review so if you found that helpful please feel free to like it share subscribe add it to your favorites that's always fun and subscribe did I say that subscribe check out my channel I got tons of videos over a hundred videos on there on different stuff including lathe work a little bit of milling machine gunsmithing stuff cars all sorts of stuff we got some crazy annoying dogs on there uh, it's a good waste of time if nothing else you will I shouldn't say you will you may learn something so till next time Stay safe, take her easy, and I'll see you later. Thank you.